Football Drills, part two, coming at you guys. What's up everybody, I'm Melissa Makos. And since we are in the thick of football season, I figured let's do another round of football drills. Now I was supposed to have my better half demonstrate these because he's the actual football player. So maybe I can convince him to show me a couple of the drills that they used to do in college. And oh, by the way, this is an authentic Boston College football from was it 1998 from back in the day so authentic football right here but we don't need this right now here we go with our drills what we are doing it's called dot drills and these are for plyometrics this is to get those quick feet you wonder why or how these wide receivers can catch up to some of these rocket balls thrown by the quarterbacks or how some of the dbs the corners the safeties can catch up to some of these really fast wide receivers is this right here. They're called dot drills. So this is my improvised version of the dot drills. Normally when you go into a football facility or a gym, you actually have a mat with the dots on. It kind of looks like hopscotch. And that's what we're gonna do for our very first dot drill. So the first dot drill goes like this. It's just like hopscotch. But you go back, okay? Then you're gonna speed it up, okay? Because if it was like that, it would be too easy, right? So then you speed it up. All right, so obviously I am not a football player and my footwork leaves a lot to be desired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call on the expert. He's shaking his head right now, but I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to see how it's really done. We're coming right back. All right, thanks big guy. Those are a little bit harder than they would appear, but next we're gonna do the Oklahoma drill. Just kidding. So now that we've seen the expert do it, I think I did it better. But anyway, all right, here we go. So this next drill is gonna be a single leg hop, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on our right foot to the middle over here, then back over here, back to the center, here and then over. So it looks like this, okay? Here, 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 and then here. Right, right? But trust me, go as slow as you need to go and then once you get the hang of it, you're gonna wanna pick up the pace. So let's try it again. Okay, on the right foot. Now we're gonna go to the left foot, same thing. You're gonna start one foot here, 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 <laughs> okay? This not only works the plyometrics, speed drills, but it also works your brain because you're thinking about which dot you're trying to hit. It's hard going forward and especially going backwards. So one more time on the left, start on the first dot, also works your balance, okay? Center, up, side, back to center, back and over. Try that three times through. Try to pick up the pace as you're going through these dot drills. Last one. Are you breathing heavy with me yet? Here we go. This is the hopscotch with a twist. So we're here, 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 twist. Okay, let me catch my breath. Whew. That's why I didn't play football. Just kidding. All right, guys, that will really get your heart rate up with those dot drills. And it is not just for football. You can do this for any sport. You can do this for any type of trying to get in shape, but this is something that football players do to really work on that agility. And no, we are not gonna do the Oklahoma drill. Okay, and please don't try the Oklahoma drill at home unless you are a trained professional. And if you don't know what the Oklahoma drill is, Google that bad boy. And while you're Googling the Oklahoma drill, Google Melissa Makos. Check me out. All of these fun with fitness tips and tricks are right there on the World Wide Web. All right, guys, hopefully you're rooting for your favorite team and we'll see you next time.